I don't understand something. And that something is the tensions that seem to be going from Dan is not on fire um, fans to Emma Blackery. For those that don't know, Emma Blackery is a relatively new YouTuber who's gained quite a lot of subscribers over a very short period of time. And she makes sketches in a similar style to Dan is not on fire. As a result, she's got a fair bit of hate from a small minority of Dan fans, unfairly in my opinion. Now this all sort of culminated in a live show on you now this evening. Basically last night Dan had said he was going to do a live show. He didn't end up turning up, or at least he hasn't yet, but everyone seemed to blame Emma, who's doing her weekly scheduled broadcast on you now. It seemed that she was a very easy target for people to blame for Dan not being there, basically because she'd already received quite a bit of hate for copying Dan, which she hasn't, but unfortunately people seem to think so. I I think that both Emma and Dan make fantastic videos. I love both of their sets of videos. I think they both make fantastic content. And this is exactly why I don't understand it. What's so bad about having two fantastic YouTubers making brilliant, witty, clever content? Maybe portrayed in a similar way, but at the end of the day, they both have different ideas. They have different actual raw content, what they're actually saying. Just portrayed in sketches. There's nothing wrong with that. Are we gonna blame Dan for copying, say, Morecambe and Wise? Harry and Paul, the two Ronnies, they all did sketch shows. Did he copy them? No. He was inspired by them. And that brings me on to my next point. Emma is clearly inspired by Dan, a more experienced, more established YouTuber. That doesn't mean that she's copying him. Where would we be as a species without inspiration from others? We wouldn't have Playstations or TVs or laptops. I wouldn't have this camera without an inspired thought that built upon a previous idea. Music is another example. I mean, if everyone had an outcry at rock and roll for copying aspects of blues music, we wouldn't have Queen, we wouldn't have Led Zeppelin, and to cater for a wider audience, we probably would not have One Direction and things like that. Digressing, what I'm basically trying to say is that Emma and Dan are both different people with different ideas just portrayed in a similar manner. I personally love it, and I'm sure the majority of both Emma and Dan's fans also love it. It's just a small minority that really get on my nerves sometimes in a lot of things. But at the end of the day, we're all part of the same YouTube community. There's no point fighting among each other, especially when it's over two fantastic content creators that we're lucky to be able to watch. We're lucky to be able to have them to entertain us when we're bored and procrastinating work like I am right now. So yeah, I'm sorry about, again, breaking the promise about my Draw My Life video. I said that would be my next video. It's not, clearly. Um, but spontaneity. I'll be filming my Draw My Life video this weekend. Should be up over the weekend or on Monday. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. So until then, sorry about the negativity, I guess. Sorry about that. Bye.